how do I sign up for the California Court interpreting tests? To begin testing, you have to register with our independent test administrator. You can find them by clicking exam information on our website. Make sure to read all of the information included in the candidate information bulletins. These contain important details on test sites, schedules, and fees. Where will I take the exams? Both the written and oral exams are given at multiple test sites all over the state. The written exams are administered almost every day. You just have to contact our administrator and schedule a test. The oral exams occur on specific dates announced by our test administrator. Once I take an exam, when will I find out if I passed? You get written exam scores at the test center the same day you take the test. And oral scores usually come a few months after you take the oral exam. Remember, the tests are hard and they can only evaluate your performance on a particular day. Being bilingual does not guarantee you'll pass. What if I don't pass the written exam? You must wait at least 90 days before you take the written exam again and you're eligible to take the written exam twice during a 12-month period. What if I don't pass the oral examination? Once you pass the written exam, you can take the oral exam a total of four times. If you don't pass the oral exam in four tries, you'll have to take the written exam again. Do most people pass the tests the first time? Most of our candidates do not pass either the written or oral exam the first time. Some do. It just depends on how prepared you are. Why is it so hard to become a court interpreter? California has always required a very high level of interpreting skill and ability, and we will continue to do so in the future. Our test standards have not changed even though we may change the way we test or the content of any given exam. We always have one goal, providing complete and accurate interpretation to court users as required under the state and federal constitutions.